Today we're at Unity Island, uh, right across the Black Rock Lock from our, our district offices. And uh, we're getting ready to do uh, pre-construction monitoring for uh, ecosystem restoration projects that are going to be occurring here over the next uh, three to four years. And so this monitoring is related to um, some measures that we're doing that's going to enhance the circulation between the south, central, and north ponds here on the island. And so we want to monitor the water quality benefits associated with replacing uh, three culverts that separate these, these uh, water bodies. Um, and this project you know, kind of folds into a bigger project, which is the Buffalo 204 project. Uh, it's, it's, it's beneficial uh, use of dredge material for ecosystem restoration. That's gonna um, start up in the fall of 2017. And um, that project is gonna place clean sediment in the North Pond here to establish an emergent submerged wetland community. And we're also putting in a break in this stone um, stone berm wall between the river and North Pond to uh, enhance the surface water connection between the river and all three pond systems here, enhancing uh, fish habitat connectivity and aquatic uh, connectivity. So this is the uh, multi-parameter um, water quality sond that we're going to be deploying in both the North and South Pond today. Um, it measures uh, a number of parameters including temperature, pH, dissolved oxygen, conductivity, um, and turbidity as well. And, um, you know, we're going to deploy these out using this uh, mooring system here where we have an anchor. It comes up to the housing for the water quality sond. And then the sond is going to be floated here by the subsurface buoy. Um, the battery life on these should last us about three months, so we are going to have to come back out and uh, replace the batteries. Um, you know, probably once or twice throughout the season, but we're hoping to, to, to capture water quality improvements as a result of the habitat restoration project that we're doing.